Nicely done. All right. That was right. All right. Yeah, yeah. Chris Spector, that's awesome. Yeah. It looks like something out of RoboCop. Right. You know? Probably one of the things you learned was the maximum effective range of this is 75 yards. Welcome back, everybody, to Shift Fire, the exploration and appreciation of military culture. I'm Israel Wright, former Green Beret, out of Fort Lewis, Washington, and first group represent. And with me, as always, the very handsome Cameron Fath. I'm a former Army Ranger out of 2nd Ranger Battalion, also at Fort Lewis, Washington. And today we have an awesome segment for you guys. We are going to be doing Lethal Antiquities. And pretty much the premise of this segment is we are going to receive a mystery box, and the contents of this box are unknown. Without further ado, destroy on three. One, two, three, destroy! destroy! Yeah! Good to see you. Long time no see. It's been a little bit. <laughs> it has been a little bit. But we have a mysterious gun in this rifle case. The contents of We Know Not. And we're going to find out, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, it's kind of a futuristic case, modern case, so that might lead you down the right path. I'm, I'm trying to think of like like a Chris Vector or something like that. That is a cool, sleek Vector. design. Or like know? an MP7 or the MP9. A flux. I want to know. I want to know, I have man. to know, Clay. Quit keeping us in suspense. All right, all right. So after the last couple, what do you guys not want to see in this? Um, okay. Nothing that's right-handed. Ah! Oh! <laughs> that's a, Nicely done. All right. That was right, all Nicely right. Done. Chris Spector, that's awesome. Yeah. It looks like something out of RoboCop. Right, you know? yeah. Yeah, it's got a very futuristic, spacey kind of feel to it. I mean, I love this gun, and I've actually had a little bit of experience with it, just working with Haley Strategic and the Gameology videos. You know, it's a wacky design looking at it, but it has function. The Chris Vector, the Super V, if you will, in yep. correct terminology, the cool thing, you know, it has custom magazines that will fit, but it can also take Glock mags as right. well. Yeah, I'm seeing that there is a Glock mag. Is this the 45 this or the This is the 45, so, so Glock 21. this is the traditional 21. Super V, that's awesome. And the cool thing, is the 45 round kicks like a horse. It doesn't look like this for futuristic reasons. There's actual function behind it. So with a traditional rifle, the bolt, when it fires, comes directly back to you and the transfer energy goes into your shoulder and then it comes straight forward. With the Chris, the bolt will come down into the receiver. What? So instead of that energy coming back to your shoulder, it kind of eliminates it by pushing it down. So you get less right. recoil, you get less muzzle rise, you, you just get rounds on target fast and furiously. Right. That's awesome. When did it get started and what was the purpose behind it initially? It's fairly recent. I was designed as a close quarter sub gun. On the full auto version, it's five and a half inch barrel, so it's real tight. Yeah. So having the foregrip originally was not the plan on the original design. It was designed to be gripped back here, which is really where all the controls are. Yeah. Oh, okay. So everything's nice and tight. Over time, they made some improvements and adjustments since 2007, but this is only currently in official use in two countries, Thailand and Bangladesh. I thought it was gonna be a nightmare when it came, comes to maintenance, mm -hmm. which is obviously my purview, but I popped it open and it was easier to take apart than the 1911. There's four pins, you drop the lower off, you pull the, the bolt assembly out and you're off you go. May I? Yeah. Now, is this a suppressor right here? No, that's a barrel extension that's made to look like a suppressor. They've got a couple of different versions of this. Like I said, the full auto has the five and a half inch barrel. Um, they've got a pistol version, which also has the five inch barrel semi-auto with a, an arm brace. Yeah. In the pistol conversion as and well. And I mean, it has a collapsible stock. Yep. And we've even seen them stock lists Correct. where you can do sling assist. Yep. So if you have the sling wrapped around you, just keep it tight and you'll present it out this way and just basically use your sling as tension so if you want to roll it without the can on it you can keep it underneath you know a jacket and pull out present and shoot right shout out travis haley for that information <laughs> so but yeah. man this is a cool gun i mean you got a long can on here is uh this an actual suppressor or is it just for no, all show? no it's just, just for just show because for show. it's a full length barrel okay so they wanted to make it look a little more cool yeah. i know a lot about it but i've never gotten my hands on it and shooting a sub gun in a full length configuration like this with a pistol caliber, it's it's so fun to shoot. It's I'm so sure, light recoil, nice and accurate. You'll have a good time. Everyone who's played Call of Duty knows this gun. If you've seen any type of like futuristic movie or TV show, this gun is probably highlighted yep. in it. A couple of things I did want to point out too, talking about how this is designed to be held, all of your controls are right here next to your left hand. You've got your yeah. charging handle, obviously. Mag release is right there underneath your hand and your bolt release yeah, is right, right there. there as well. Oh, so wow. you really don't have to move very far. Yeah. Super compact. Until you get to the to grabbing the foregrip. And then since this and is the semi-automatic version, fully automatic version, your selector would be here as well, up right. top. Great. Yep. That selector switch would be just about here. And when your support hand's up here, I can work magazine release the bolt catch and manipulate that selector switch up here. 
And then basically your fold down sides has that button right there on the side where you just detent it, fold it down. These should just flip right up. So the fun thing is it's a real spacey gun. Kind of looks foreign, but this is an all American made weapons originally by TDI and now by Chris from uh, USA. And the only parts of this gun that seem metal are gonna be the internals, the barrel, and then these sights. Everything else is made of polymer. Right. Which I mean, it cuts down on weight, Big but I wonder if it has the durability of a, you know, a steel gun or, you know, a metal gun. You can tell this design was sort of designed for tight quarters, close yeah. spaces, um, probably to be a competitor to the FN57, the P90s. I love the folding stock here. What would be the advantage and disadvantage of, you know, you could shoot it without it, or, and with it. Right, you know. yeah. yeah, I mean, you, you've got the concealability quotient. If right. you're doing uh, executive protection, everything yeah, can that's be a slid underneath a, yeah, right. a jacket. Really close. And then if you need to stretch out and reach out a little bit further, you can pull that stock out and you're ready to go. There's definitely a lot of benefits to the folding stock if it can uphold the strength. Right. Well, I'm tired of talking about it. I want to live my life. But I'm getting parched just hearing the sound of my own voice. So yeah, let's go shoot this <laughs> thing, go shoot man. Shoot you ready? Let's yeah. do it. Rock and roll. Rock, paper, scissors. Shoot. Yeah! Oh, uh, Probably one of the things you learned was the maximum effective range of this is 75 yards. It's, it's a real low velocity round, you know, big round traveling as fast as it can. It's the little engine that could out of all ammunition. You pull the trigger and the uh, round immediately smacks the target. This, I could literally watch the bullet travel to the target <laughs> right. and like hit. Yeah. It's like a paintball gun on steroids. Almost like catch it, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah it's meant, I mean, meant to be up close and personal for sure. The whole purpose of the design of the gun with minimizing recoil, especially with the 45 round, which is a big round for, you know, a submachine gun, because comparing this to like MP5s, mp 7s those are fast moving rounds and you don't get a lot of recoil. But with the 45, I mean, I didn't feel any recoil at all. Yeah. I also like the fact that all the controls are right there. So to drop the mag, I drop the mag. Once I put it up, the bolt's right there. I can pretty much send it home that easily. So I'm shooting bang, 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 gun goes cold. Yeah! All those controls are where you expect Yeah, literally, like right when I put the mag in, my thumb was right there, boom. The reload, I mean, my mag release is right there. Next mag goes in, go, gun goes, you know, in operation super fast. That was cool. Try it again this time and maybe go prone. That's a good thing, because I wonder, uh, you know, especially with this long mag, how steady this thing could be on the ground. Yeah. Shooting, 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 getting cold. That, 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 that. So actually, for a personal defense weapon, with the low recoil that I experienced, I don't think it would be that hard. This gun gets dirty fast, that's the only thing. Uh, do you think that's part of the design of the bolt being where it's at? Or or maybe I mean, just kind of typical, where, just powder? I mean, you look at like gas piston driven and they had that ejection port and they got a lot of room for those gases to go. Right. This doesn't have a lot, I mean, it has this tiny port, but I mean, you can just see how caked on this is. Right. And I mean, it's not just like grease. There is physical like granules. Yep. Not bad to hang on your wall and show your friends. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we got some rounds down range. Should we chat about this thing? Yeah, let's talk about it, man. Yeah, let's, let's go. go back. Very interesting, really cool weapon system by Chris. I actually yeah. had a lot of fun shooting it. Yeah, me too. Real uh, light, easy. Like you say, that recoil, it's real easy to control. Maybe not so much uh, great on the distance, the, right. <laughs> the long distance shooting, yeah. but like you say, it's, it's not necessarily designed. No, no, I mean, maximum range 75 yards with that size barrel. With the shorter normal barrel, 55 yards. Yeah. So it's not designed to reach out and touch you. It's designed to stay up close. You can definitely do some damage with this thing. And I love the, you know, the reciprocating bolt going into the bottom of the uh, receiver there. Definitely cuts down on a lot of recoil like that. That was the coolest thing about this. The one thing I didn't like though was just how dirty this thing got. I mean, yeah. we didn't shoot, we shot less than 100 rounds through it. And this thing is, feels like I, if I have to clean this, luckily you do. Uh, <laughs> Thanks, thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing would take a little bit to clean. But other than that, cool gun. Everything about this was designed for, to be compact. Yeah. And yeah. I appreciate the intentionality of the design. You know? yeah. I'm still gonna grab an MP5 at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice try, Vector. We nice try, Vector. We love but our Vector friends. Folks, thanks to all of you for joining us on this episode of Lethal Antiquities. Like, share, subscribe. We love you so much. Leave a comment in the comment section. Leave a bunch of comments in the comment section. Let us know what you wanna see in future episodes. We'll try to get it done. 
appreciate you being here, folks. Until next time, this is Shift Fire. I wanted to expose it, put the gun into action. Shoot, shoot, shoot. I don't have the other mag on. <laughs> Chris, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Lethal Antiquities. Absolutely. Folks, thank Who's you. Who's Chris? Chris, I don't know. That's Wait, Chris. Chris. That's oh, Chris. Chris. Oh, I That's had the Chris, Chris on my mind, sorry. <laughs> Clay, can we do that again? Yeah.